Hey everyone, I'm back with yet another Digital Dungeon Delvers Digital Dice Tower. Um, I posted videos of very similar ones before, um, and this one is only some very minor changes. But the reason I'm posting this today is because I've gotten requests each time I've posted videos of these various digital dice towers. I always get requests on how do I build, you know, how do I build such a device, you know, very interested in making my own. Uh, so I finally have gotten around to posting some very specific instructions on how to acquire the parts uh, it takes to build this particular model um, and the steps to build it. So before I post all of that up on the on YouTube and a couple other sites uh, with the links to the blog entries, um, I'd like to go through this one real quick and demonstrate what it does and then send you to the links below. First, power it up. Obviously comes up in 1D20 mode, has audible and Nixie tube displays. Um, you can set the count and the dice type and press roll. It's already in 1D20, so let's go see what that does. 15, oh, that's not gonna quite make a save on that. Uh, on that fireball, so you're gonna take the full, let's roll that up. 8, D6, damage, for 29 damage. Now, as you noticed, uh, oops, <laughs> I've left the lid loose here, um, and I did that on purpose so I can show you kind of what it looks like going into this one and what's involved in each of these. Um, as you can see, you can see the microcontroller that says... Uh, AVR328P or ATmega328P processor and there's also another small 8-pin uh, IC and that's a LM386 audio amp that goes into this all onto a, a controller board done on a proto board. Now, all of this is hand wired. Uh, there's obviously a couple of rotary encoders, an LED, a push button, momentary contact push button and uh, a potentiometer for the audio volume and a speaker in the back and a switch, a power switch that goes into these above and beyond what's in the original chassis. Um, and again, look to the links below and you'll see details on how to build one of these yourself.